Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, the savior. So, yes, you read that title correct. Japanese people love weeboos. There is no such thing as being a weeboo, weeaboo, whatever you want to call it here. And to add to that, there is absolutely zero such thing as cultural appropriation in Japan. Now, I sound like a, you know, huge hypocrite. Look at me, I'm wearing a sushi pajama top. <laughs> I am wearing my hair, hair purposely in pigtails. I have paper crane earrings. I have, you know, the little cutesy curl Lolita looking pigtails going on. All purposefully, of course. But that is my point, to show you just how ridiculous you look and seem for believing that or saying that. It's a huge lie. Anyone who has ever lived in Japan can tell, can and will tell you otherwise. Now I know that, you know, for you white guys in particular, and those of you who claim to be of partial Asian descent, saying that, oh, I'm a quarter Japanese, allegedly, or whatever you claim to be, you'll say, oh, this is offensive, uh, fucking weebu, I hate people like you, blah, blah, blah. You're busy defending something that Japanese people don't even see a need to defend. They absolutely love cosplayers. They love people that like anime. They love people that try to look half Japanese, whatever you want to call it. They actually admire those people for lots of different reasons. The biggest one being is they're glad and happy that you're interested in their culture. And while, of course, anime isn't really, you know, legitimate culture, it's entertainment per se, they see it as a part of that. Anything that you find positive about Japan, they want to embrace and love, and so thus they love people who, you know, embrace and love that weird side of Japan, that type of culture. If you have ever um, cosplayed out in public here in Japan, or if you have any type of dating account or, you know, language exchange account, and you have any photos of yourself doing cosplay, looking Asian, or anything like that, and you have it side by side with pictures of you in which you look cute, professional, sexy, they will almost always over compliment the one with you wearing the super reboot outfit, um, you know, in cosplay with all of your, you know, Naruto books in the background, etc. They love that kind of stuff, even if they are personally not an otaku, uh, so to speak, themselves. It's not offensive to people here. They don't think that it's funny or laughable. Yes, you are going to look weird if you have like a waifu pillow or something like that. People do not do that here. Trust me, that's weirdos and Asian tourists <laughs> and white guys. But, <laughs> um, you know, of course, there's exceptions to every rule, but that is kind of creepy. However, as far as, you know, liking anime goes, trying to speak Japanese, trying to be Japanese, they admire those kind of people. They want people here in Japan like that because they see you as someone who respects uh, Japanese culture. In fact, the ironic part is, People get so angry at uh, people, you know, for wearing cosplay, for throwing in, you know, random Japanese words when they talk or write, you know, stories. Like, if you've ever read fan fiction, it pisses some people off. But um, the really ironic part is, is that those are actually the best people to come to Japan. The ones who are not into that type of stuff, who don't try to learn Japanese, who don't try to assimilate, etc., they're the Logan Pauls of Japan, so to speak, which, mind you, Japan doesn't really care about Logan Paul either. Nobody even knows his name or talks about him here, FYI. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is the people who are uncultured are the ones who really ruin the reputation for foreigners here. I find that people that are into anime, into video games, into cosplay, into Japanese fashion, um, you know, they actually know about Japanese culture. They know and respect the rules and the laws here. They try to be respectful. They try to dress modestly. They try to, you know, speak Japanese. They try to, um, you know, fit in with the country. Maybe not so much the way that they dress, because of course people do not go around wearing Pokemon um, cosplays outside on a day-to-day -day basis. But people want to take pictures of you. They'll think that you're cool. They'll call you cute. They'll ask you if they can cosplay with you. They love cosplayers. They love people that play games. There's arcades all over Japan and they generally stay, you know, fairly full. Japanese people go to them all the time. Most Japanese people either, you know, do watch anime or they used to. They're into games, they're into uh, J-pop and all the other type of stuff. They do it all too. The reason why there's no such thing as cultural appropriation here in Japan is because Japanese people do culturally appropriate, <laughs> if you want to use that term. Japanese people have a really, 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 really huge thing for trying to not look Japanese. The less Asian you look, the more attractive you're generally perceived as here. So, for example, everyone here wants to not only whiten their skin, because I know Asians are going to say, oh, it's not to look like white people. B.S. Not that I care, but they will also, you know, go as far as to want to, you know, dye their hair blonde or light brown. They'll lie and say that they're half. They'll have, you know, their Instagram and Twitter handles. Um, you know, written in English, 
They will write all of their captions in English. They will go out of their way to befriend foreigners. They will frequent gaijin bars. They will tell you that they only listen to Japanese, I mean, only listen to American music, only watch American movies, only watch American TV shows. When they watch Netflix, it's watching American stuff. They think Japanese TV and music is horrible, etc. Now, hmm, I wonder what we would call that if it were, let's say, I don't know, an American. If we flip the role, we call them a weebu, right? So wouldn't that really make them a reverse reboot? What's wrong with liking another culture besides your own? It's also really ironic because specifically as an American, we always get bashed for being full of ourselves. Everyone says like, oh, Americans think they're better than everyone. It's the United States, not America. They think that they're the only Americans, blah, blah, blah. Which I can get into that later, but FYI, we call ourselves American because we're the only country in both South and North America that actually has America in the title of the country. To my knowledge, maybe I'm a dumb American, but USA, United States of America, we do not call it Canada of America, it's not Brazil of America, but I'm not going to get into that war with you guys right now, I'm sticking to the facts, and what I'm saying is, is Japanese people, they try and strive to look white. They freaking love America, and beyond just white people, even black people, street and hip-hop culture, hip-hop culture, and reggae is huge here in Japan. They have festivals for it, you'll see guys with dreads, girls trying to get tans to look black, there's twerking, there's clubs that are dedicated to that, there's a jazz scene here, there's absolutely everything that you could possibly imagine and think of. They actually admire and like people who actually take the time to learn how to wear a kimono, or I forgot the other one, uh, yukata, whatever the name of the guy's one is, the different type of, you know, kimonos and outfits that you can wear, traditional Japanese clothing. It's not offensive to wear those things, and this is not just my own two cents. If you post any picture of yourself wearing that, the only people that are going to give you any type of hate are going to be white guys, and possibly black people. <laughs> That's all you're going to get. Japanese people don't give a crap. Why? Because they think that you're cool. They're glad that you appreciate their culture. It doesn't matter if you wear it incorrectly, you do it wrong, they might, you know, snicker, you know, oh, that, you know, foreigner doesn't know how to wear this correctly, but they will try to help you. They do not see it as offensive or humorous or insulting or degrading towards them or their culture. They're glad that you're interested, that you want to learn about it. They're glad that you're trying to speak their language. They do the same thing. Hate to rat them out, but I'll use my boyfriend as an example. He is Japanese, yet his entire Instagram is entirely in English. All of his captions are in English. All of, you know, his information at the top of his profile is in English. Me, on the other hand, I'm an American. My stuff is written in both Japanese and English. I switch between the two because I want to learn and I want to, you know, also attract people that are from both countries. Since I am planning to live here in Japan permanently, I will one day probably, uh, you know, stick to just using Japanese. So there's no such thing as, you know, appropriating Japanese culture. And the reason why there also isn't kind of getting all over the place Japan has no history with having been, you know, enslaved by any race, and in particular, white people. The reason why this is so much of a big problem in America is because a lot of the things that are becoming cool and in style now, we as black people were made fun of for, such as having afro hair, dark skin, big lips, big butts. Now, all of a sudden, they've become a trendy thing to do when they are not only black women, which that is, yes, seen as kind of insulting. But I'm not going to get into personal preferences and cultural appropriation. With America, <laughs> I'm talking about Japan. The problem is, is that Americans and Europeans have tried to bring over what they consider as, you know, rude or cultural appropriation into a country that doesn't have these problems. They don't exist. Japanese people do not care. In fact, like I said, they admire, look up to, they'll want pictures with you, they'll ask you for your Instagram and Twitter, they'll want to follow you, they'll want your line account. They love you. <laughs> they don't care if you're wearing a kimono, they don't care if you're trying to speak broken Japanese, they don't care, you know, if you think that you're Japanese and you're, you know, you have on circle lenses and you're wearing a Lolita dress or whatever. They admire and love that because, once again, their entire culture, you know, the whole media here, the mainstream media, the popular stuff to do here in Japan, the way to look cool, is to not look Asian. <laughs> they want to look like white people. They want to look like black people. So how hypocritical would it be for a Japanese person to, you know, look down on or be offended by, you know, black and white people that want to look be or, you know, become a part of Japanese culture or indulge in it, I should say. 
there's nothing wrong with like an anime. You don't have to pretend like you're only in Japan because you love the temples here. No, they are absolutely love people that like, you know, the fun, crazy entertainment side of Japan. And that goes for both J-pop, anime, and of course wearing traditional clothing and wear, tea ceremonies, etc. We make fun of people like this in America. We call them annoying, a nuisance, whatever. But in Japan, they actually don't view you that way, believe it or not. So while you're spending all this time investing so much emotion and energy into getting mad and chasing after cosplayers and saying, oh, you're too dark to wear this, you're too fat to do that, Japanese people don't give a crap. In fact, it goes even deeper than that. They celebrate American holidays. Yes, I am aware that Americans do not necessarily invent Halloween or invent Christmas. Other countries celebrate these too. I know. It's Captain Obvious. But <laughs> my point is, Americans, whether you like it or not, we're the ones that do it best. Sorry. We're the ones that people, when you think of Christmas, you think of America. When you think of Halloween, you think of America. When you think of Valentine's Day, you think of America. Okay. Who do you think, you know, inspires specifically Japan? I won't get into war with you other countries. <laughs> Who do you think has really had the biggest influence on Japan? Would you say it's the UK or would you say it's America? I think the choice is quite clear that it's America. The way that holidays are done here, even although people don't celebrate them entirely the way that we do, they are clearly inspired by the way that Americans celebrate Halloween and Christmas. That's the reason why they have all, you know, this... Santa Claus stuff, they play Mariah Carey, American music, um, the stores are flooded with, you know, signs talking about stock, um, stocking stuffers and everything looks, they have Black Friday, come on. <laughs> they do all of this different stuff that, you know, either started in or is highly associated with America. As I said already, yes, I know the UK and whatnot, I recall, they have Black Friday and stuff too, but you get what I'm saying. When you think of these things, the country that has pretty much perfected it, I'm sorry this sounds cocky, but it's just true, it's America. So, yes, some of you guys are going to hate me in the comments and be like, oh, like, you're wrong, you're a fucking weeboo, you black bitch, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit at this point. I'm just being totally real. It's okay to wear cosplay even if you want to wear it every day outside. People are just going to want to take pictures with you, think that you're cool. You might actually get a modeling job by doing this, which a lot of uh, foreigners have done. Um, people want to date you. Even if they're not personally into these things themselves, Japanese people admire cosplayers. They admire people that try to speak their language and learn about their culture. They think that you're really cool. They don't think that you're a lame. They don't think that you're weird. They don't think that you're being, you know, offensive to them and or their culture. And FYI, for those of you who get really angry when you, you know, are triggered, when you see people trying to speak Japanese or you see pictures of cosplayers, etc., just to let you know, for those of you in particular that are claiming to be half or, you know, partial Japanese and claiming, oh, like, I've been to Japan plenty of times. Yeah, you must not have any Japanese friends. You must be blind. And number three, maybe you should also learn that Japanese people don't even view you as Japanese. If you are not 100% Japanese, you're pretty much a foreigner in the eyes of a Japanese person. They actually have a special word to refer to people who were born in another country and or raised in another country but are of Japanese descent. So yeah, you're wasting your time, wasting your energy, getting mad at something that they don't care about. They love, they embrace, they think you're cool, they think you're fun. So go ahead, cringe, get angry, get mad at girls wearing pigtails or wearing their Sailor Moon costume and taking pictures in the middle of downtown Shibuya. Yes, it hurts, it burns. I know you want to defend your love, your beloved country so bad and, you know, enjoy your, you know, indulge in your yellow fever while pretending like you have no interest in Japanese, you know, mainstream media, like you don't like Japanese music and you don't like anime and you don't like video games and you don't want to wear a kimono. Have fun. Have fun with that. That's nice. So my point is that you're wasting your time and energy. You're not being insulting and offensive to Japanese people. They don't use the word weebu. It's not even in the vocabulary. There's not a Japanese version of this. And a lot of you guys even say like, oh, it's because they don't understand. No, they do understand. In fact, when they see that people like the legitimate hardcore weebu, like the person that is trying to deny that they are anything but Japanese, when they do need to see those people, they're thinking to themselves, almost wanting to laugh, like, why would anybody want to be one of us? <laughs> and I'm being serious. And the reason being is, Japan pats itself on the back for being safe and being cool, etc. But if you ask any Japanese person, you know, talk to them for any length of time, they will almost always express, you know, a want to travel abroad or say, oh, I wish I was from this country. Oh, you know, white people look so much better than whatever. Like, they have all of these, like, super negative, you know, beliefs towards themselves. So for them, it's like, why would you, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy or girl, why do you want to be Japanese? Why would you want to be us? 
Why do you want to have stereotypical comments they make? Small lives. Why do you want to be short? Oh, we're so boring. We all just have black hair. Blah, blah, blah. People think these stupid, dumb, and negative things. And that's the main reason why anime is kind of like an anime and cosplay. It's kind of like an outlet for that, so to speak. Notice that anime characters don't even look Asian. They're normally big, blue-eyed, blonde hair characters that have personalities that are absolutely nothing like real Japanese people and actually more close to those that are European or American. So, not going to get into that, but all I'm saying is, yes, not offensive. They think that you're cool. You don't have to try to hide, deny, or pretend like you're not into these things in order to fit in or make friends. The only people that might even be upset with you are generally tourists and or other people, white, black guys, that don't even live in Japan. They're defending something that doesn't need to be defended. They're jealous. They're haters. Cringe all you want. Hate it all you want. Think it's as weird as you want it, you know, to be or whatever. But really, Japanese people don't understand why you want to be them because they're busy trying to look like and be you. Go ahead, cosplay, wear your, you know, anime t-shirts, do whatever. Do people commonly do this that are Japanese? To be honest, absolutely not. <laughs> But they don't care, they don't mind, they're not being insulting or offensive, and you'll actually find people that will want to chat you up, like, oh, if you like Naruto too, or I like One Piece. Oh, you know, are you wearing, you know, whatever shirt, this, that, and the other? They have statues, stores, all kinds of stuff everywhere in Japan, even outside of tourist areas. They have cafes that are specifically modeled after anime stuff. How would they find, if they found the stuff to be so sacred and, you know, personal, oh, and forget about anime shops. Um, kimono shops where tourists can try them on. If they found these things to be insulting, why would they even offer kimono rental for foreigners? And I'm not just talking about for, you know, people from Tokyo that come to Kyoto and rent a kimono. No. They have shops here that are specifically geared towards foreigners with English and Chinese speaking staff. You're really being ridiculous um, to be putting so much pressure on yourself and trying to avoid looking like a wee or looking like you love Japan too much. They will love the fact that you admire their country. It makes them feel proud. Japanese people have tons of pride. They are very, you know, proud. They love to show off about their country. So, again, this is getting long and ranty. All I'm saying is, no such thing as being a weeboo. There's no such thing as cultural appropriation here. This is Japan, not America. They have no history of, you know, having to be ashamed of themselves and their culture. They've only lived with themselves. They practically worship foreigners here. You see them all over TV, they're on magazine covers. They only play American music when you go inside of most stores here. And once again, if this were to happen in America, oh, weebu, this is a weeb store, this, that, and the other. But in Japan, everyone's lips like zip. I've never heard a foreigner ever say anything about that or associate, make the connection between the two. They love American TV, they love American movies. They love American everything. And if you ever meet a Japanese person, one of the first things that will come out of their mouth is, oh, I love America. I love Netflix. I love American music. Shawn Mendes, Taylor Swift. That's all you'll hear from them. In fact, even for myself, I look nothing like the chick and people tell me every single day, oh my God, you look just like Rihanna. Ha, ha, ha. If anybody were to ever say that to me in America, anyone nearby that heard that would die laughing. So, that is that. Please let me know what you think. So, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Have you ever been to Japan? Have you experienced any negativity to wearing a cosplay costume? Um, do you believe that Japanese people actually find this to be offensive despite the fact that there are cafes, stores that are um, actually geared towards foreigners to experience and try on these things and wear them outside for fun? One of the biggest ones probably being, um, you know, fake geishas that you see wandering on the streets. So, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I stepped on your little, you know, weeboo police toes. <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and please watch another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.